sparkle in my eye. Got it. Hi everyone, it's Emma, and today I'm going through my bookish pin collection. I've only started collecting bookish pins within the past year. I realized that I had collected quite a few, so I decided I would show them to you guys. I've never really been much of a jewelry person. I usually wear these same pieces of jewelry all the time. Recently, pins has become one of the ways that I accessorize my outfits, and it's been really fun to have pins to go with different outfits, especially because often pins can kind of hold memories attached to them or hold associations. So some of them remind me of my favorite childhood books or my favorite book quotes, the place where I bought them or who I bought them with. And because I'm one of the most sentimental people on the planet, that makes me love pins that much more. I don't really have a good way of storing my pins, to be honest. I often just leave them on the outfits that I most often wear them with. On this sweater, I usually wear my Alice in Wonderland pin, so I often just kind of leave it on this sweater because I know that the next time I want to wear it, it'll be there already. That's not the best way to keep track of all of them. So if any of you have pins and you have a way of storing them or a system or something, let me know because I'm curious as to what some other people do. I will leave everything linked down in the description box, so if you're looking for a specific pin, check the description box. Chances are I put the brand there or the website or the Instagram so you can go check it out for yourself. So since I already mentioned this pin, the first one is this Alice in Wonderland pin. It is by the brand Ideal Bookshelf. I've got a couple book pins from them. They sell them in a lot of independent bookstores. I got this one in Kinokuniya in New York City. I do love Alice in Wonderland, but I more just loved the design of this one. I thought it was super pretty. I loved the colors, the red and pink. If you can tell that that's one of my favorite color combinations. This is one of my newest pins. I picked it up in the vlog that I did in New York City with my brother and with Jesse. That was when I got that one. One that I just picked up the other week is from the same brand, and it's this Narnia pin of The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. A blue sky, some snow, and a lantern on it. This is one of my all-time favorite books, one of my all-time favorite series, one of my favorite childhood series. So when I saw this one, I got really excited and I knew that I had to have it. I actually haven't worn it yet because I just got it, but I think it's very pretty. The last one that I have by that brand is this Lord of the Rings pin. This is one of the first bookish pins that I got, and it's been on my leather jacket for a really long time. I actually remember a fan art that one of you guys did of me, and it had this pin on it. This one I think I got at my local bookstore where I used to work. Next I have my Slytherin pins, which I got from Universal, The Wizarding World of Harry Potter. I have this Prefect badge and then this really small Slytherin pin. This is one of my most worn pins. Because it's small and because it's Slytherin, it just goes with so many things. Whenever I wear a green outfit, this is going on there. It came in a pack with all of the houses, so I distributed them to my family. And then the Prefect badge, similar to the Lord of the Rings one, is usually on my leather jacket. And I just kind of leave it there and wear it all the time. I like to think that I would have been a Slytherin Prefect so wearing this just makes my Harry Potter dreams come true a little bit, just a little bit. Then I've got this Shadow Hunter pin. I got this at BookCon last year, they were giving them out. And I got the Angelic Rune pin. This one also usually goes on my leather jacket. I'm not sure where you could get these, but yeah, I got it for free at BookCon last year. Next I've got a bunch of pins from the brand Clever Clove. You can find them on thecleverclove.com. All of these next couple pins are from them. First is this one of a little cat sitting on a stack of books with a heart in its paws. If that isn't a combination of all of the most adorable things, I got this for Christmas from my mama and it's one of my favorites. I just think it's really sweet. Then I have these two pins that came together. One is Harry Potter, but it's a cat dressed like Harry Potter. And then the other one is a little kitty cat dressed like Jane Austen or like Elizabeth Bennet from Pride and Prejudice. These are some of my favorite pins. I often pin them onto my beanies, which I wear all the time in the winter time. The most adorable concept, book characters as cats. And then the last one from the same brand is this pin that says, Courage, Dear Heart. This was in my winter lookbook that went up recently, and I got a bunch of questions about it, and it is one of my favorite quotes ever. It's from Voyage of a Dawn Treader, and it brings me a little comfort and a little courage every time I wear it. So I'm excited to wear that one with all my spring outfits. 
it's two more pins that came together in the same pack. They are from The Little Prince. I forget what this brand is called. It's a really common one, but I'll link it down below. The Little Prince is again one of my favorite books. It just brings me so many good memories and wearing these pins. Oh, I forgot a Harry Potter pin. This one says pumpkin juice. I forget what this brand is too, but I'll link it down below. It looks like a bottle cap and it just says pumpkin juice on it and I think it's real, real cute. And just boosts my Harry Potter mood. I think those are all the bookish pins that I have. So now I'm just gonna show you the rest of the pins that I have that are not necessarily related to books. This one is a little cup of tea and it has a little tea bag and it says tea on it in a heart. I have a specific outfit that I always wear this pin with or a specific top that I always wear this pin with and it just has a very sweet and lovely association with it. Then I have this pin of Gigi from Kiki's Delivery Service. It's just a little Gigi pin. This one also is usually on my leather jacket. I have a Kiki's Delivery Service obsession. <laughs> So anything Kiki's Delivery Service, I love. Some other Studio Ghibli pins that I have is this one of Hal from Hal's Moving Castle. And then this one of the plane. I think this is Kiki's Delivery Service. I got both of these from those blind box kind of things from Kinokuniya. I also often pin them onto my, onto my beanies. Then I have this one of Ed Sheeran that I bought at one of the Divide Tour concerts that I went to. That one I bought more for the memories, keepsake kind of thing. I have have this black tulip which I bought on vacation at one point with my family. It might have been Richmond, Virginia for the Maggie Stiefvater event that I went to there. This one is kind of an interesting pin because I have a meaning for it. I don't think it has a meaning in and of itself, but it's funny because I've had strangers ask me what the meaning of this is. I have a secret meaning to this one that I'm not gonna tell you guys. <laughs> This one is a tiger that I definitely bought because of Yuri on Ice, but I just like having it because it reminds me of Yuri on Ice and my son Yurio, so. And then the last one is very random. It is this gray luchador mask. I usually pin this onto my purse and carry it with me everywhere. At some point, my brothers and I were out shopping together. I don't know who bought them, but one of us bought these pins and there were three of them and then we all picked one and had one. So now we have matching luchador mask pins. Maybe we do if the boys haven't lost theirs. I told you I'm sentimental, guys. So that is my quick pin collection tour, or at least I hope it turns out to be quick. Like I said, I'll try and link everything down in the description box. I'm hoping that this pin collection will continue to grow and grow. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you have a lovely day or night or afternoon, wherever you are, and I will see you in my next video.